Right, Avot Perek Vav Mishnah Vav, sixth Mishnah in the sixth chapter of Masechet Avot. Okay, so we learned that there were, we learned a long time ago, there are three crowns, a crown of Torah, crown of Kahuna, and crown of Malchut. Okay, each one has its own benefits and, uh, and, uh, and uh, abilities and requirements. So it says in Mishnah, so the, the Torah, the crown of Torah, is greater than that of the kahuna, of the priesthood, and that of the malchut, of the monarchy. Why? The, the monarchy is acquired in 30 ma'alot, are advantages, or benefits. Kahuna is 24 advantages, or benefits. And the Torah is acquired with 48 things, Ways and we're going to see that these are not always benefits; these are uh, actually requirements or attributes or elements. What are the thirty, the thirty ma'alot of the of the malchut? Otan to be a sefer Shmuel. Okay, in the book of Shmuel, because she bichu Yisrael when the Jews wanted a king. This is what the justice of the king is—the judgment. Ushtachkor when you evaluate them, the thirty dvarim. Okay, they're all mislisted. If you want to look the kahati. There's a whole long list. What are the actual 30 things? How they divide up into 30? And and uh, the 24 of the kuna are the 24 matnot kuna. So these are not the obligations of the kuna, but these are the matanot, the gifts and the benefits that the kahanim have. As of Amigdash, 10 kinds of korbanot. Arba bi Yerushalayim. Four of them in Yerushalayim. Trumat maser, etc. Oven sakin. Bechor bi kurim. Murami na toda, whatever, and, and ten big bulin, the chuma, chuma glaser, ten anywhere, kohanim get anywhere. So there are 30, 24 benefits of the kohanim. What about the 48 of the Arba im Shimon or the 48 of the Torah? And these are them. We're just going to go through them. We're going to list them. Tal bit Talmud, okay, through study. The Shmiyata Ozen, the listening of the ear, meaning listening to your rabbis, okay, or Shmiyata Ozen, the Gazi says, or like, you know, not learning silently, but actually reciting the words, learning out loud, like we're doing now. Arichat Svatayim. Arichat is 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 uh, the aruch, setting up your lips. I, you know the stuff so well that uh, it's like on your lips. Rebina Taleb, the understanding of the heart. Besichlu Taleb, the seicha, the wisdom of the heart. The ema, uh, fear, yira, trepidation. Ema, fear, yira, trepidation. It's unclear, you know. Ema, rabo, oh, fear of your rebbe. Okay, yira, he says, is yira shamayim. Anava, uh, humility. Besimcha, joy, betahara, with purity. Beshimush chachamim, serving the chachamim. How do you learn? The, 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 one of the best ways to learn is to serve your serve the sages and to follow them and to understand what, what they're doing. Bedikduk chavim. Bedikduk chavim is meticulous, meticulousness with your friends. Meaning when you go over with your friends, when you learn from your Rebbe, or when you choose, the other thing he says is you choose your friends carefully. Ubepilpul atalmidim. Pilpul is a is the, the the specificity or the and the and the depth the deep understanding of a, a Talmudic idea by going back and forth of the students? Be yishuv. Yishuv is 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 a the Kati says she da'ato miyushevet alav. Okay, that your your knowledge should be miyushevet alav, settled within you. It's settledness. He says the Tiferet Yisrael says she baki biyishuvo shalolam. You should be a person who's baki, who is wise in the yishuv of the world, the selling of the world, which is derech eretz, which is chachmot tiviot v'limudiot. A person acquires Torah through knowing science and knowing the world. That would be a very Maimonidean approach. Bamikra, through uh, the text, biblical text, Mishnah, knowing the Mishnah. Bimiut sechora, okay, with, uh, a, a, a lessening, a small amount of Torah, of business. Bimiut derech eretz. Okay, minimizing Derek Eretz, minimizing, uh, let's see if I can find it, interesting. Minimizing different business interactions, that's where I mean. Did I skip a little bit? No, minimizing physical pleasures. Minimizing sleep. There's a minimum amount of, of chatters, talk. Minimum amount of, of, of frivolity. Frivolity, not frivolity, it's not a word. With compassionateness, compassion. Who lived with a good heart? With faith in the sages. With accepting yisurim, which are afflictions, as 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 kapara. Hamakir et makomo, person who recognizes his place. Uh, it means I think it means makir et makomo. And by the way, this is actually in the kahati. This is when the second mission starts. He divides it right here. 
because you see the language changes, okay? Ube kabbalam and then hamakir, one who recognizes his place. So he knows, okay? The uh, kahati says means you know your own value. Vasamech bechalko, and a person who is happy with his lot. The auses yag a person who makes offense for his words. So it's interesting that you know you, you sort of make boundaries for yourself so that you don't slip up. He doesn't, uh, hold, you know, consider himself great. So because he knows so much, Ahuv, he is beloved. Oh, he loves God. Oh, he loves uh, human beings. He loves humanity. Oh, he loves kindness. Oh, he he loves uh, straightforwardness or honesty, and uh, and uh, and uh, and he, uh, he likes going in the in the proper path. He appreciates rebuke. And that's something that's not easy to do. That to accept and appreciate when people give you honest rebuke, to accept it. He distances himself from, uh, from honor. Gas is hearty. His heart is hard. not hearty in his studies. He's not hard. It's hard, hard because he knows. He's not happy to have to give, to, not to teach, but to give rulings. He's not meaning any, anyone who's a posek, a real posek is not excited to be a posek. He'd rather, it's, 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 a, it's a credible burden. He, he bears the burden with his, with his friend. I.e., he says, he participates in the pain of his friend and helps him, whether emotionally or physically. He judges him positively for the benefit. But even if he can see, he, he, he stands his friend up on the truth. And if he sees his friend stumbling, he brings it to his attention. And he tries to get his friend to accept peace. Okay? To, uh, to, to try to... Uh, to, to, to make balance between different perspectives if people are fighting. His heart is settled in his study, he learns with a certain sense of, of calmness. He asks and answers. He hears what his teachers tell him or his friends tell him and he acts. He learns in order to teach and he learns in order to do. He makes his rabbi smarter. He, he asks sharp questions. And he gives his teaching direction. Someone who says something in the name of his, of the person who said it. I mean, he doesn't take other people's learning and make it his own, but he says in their names. We learn that the person who says teachings of Torah in the name of the person who says it brings redemption to the world. It says, when, when, when Esther told the king of about Bigtan and Teresh that there was a plot against him, she did it b'shem Mordechai in the name of Mordechai. And we know ultimately that Mordechai, the, that Mordechai was redeemed, was saved because the king realized that he was that he was the one who who saved him. Stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.